My name is Onne Buchima and I'm a member of Core 20. I'm here to present my final project for this bootcamp. This project called TechStack was created in mind with the ability to give people to find all their gadget collections in one place. They can find the high-end gadgets which they can use. They can buy from the platform. They can also hire high-end gadgets. This platform or website was created with the following technologies. I use HTML, CSS for the design. I also use Bootstrap for the responsiveness and the layout. I use JavaScript for the interactivity, jQuery also for the interactivity and DOM manipulation. I also use Python with the Flash framework for the server-side scripting. Then I use my SQL for my database. I use my SQL Workbench to model my database. So right here, I'm about to give you a walkthrough to this website. So on the home page, any potential customer or user can see this on the home page, a description of what this platform is about. We have what we're looking for. Then they can click on shop now. It takes them to the featured product. Yeah, they can do a little bit of window shopping. They can see all the items that are available for them to buy or hire. As you can see these tags, depending on the product type for sale or for hire. Flash sales are also for products that are less than a certain amount, means a cheap product, if I may say. Then, if they click on maybe any product that interests them, they click on the item. They can see the description of the product, the product name, the price, and also who posted the product. As you can see, I told you that this platform allows users to post products which other users can either buy or hire. So this product was posted by a user called Ola. Then this user can then add this product to cart. As you can see, the counter on the cart immediately increases. I was able to achieve this using Ajax. Then if the user clicks on the cart icon to view the cart, he sees a breakdown of what, whatever is in the cart. Then maybe he imputes a shipping address of where his order is going to be delivered in. Clicks on content checkout. As you can see, since the user is not logged in or registered on our platform, he can't proceed with his checkout. He either needs to log in into his account or if he's new, he needs to sign up on our platform. So let's quickly do that by registering a new user on the platform. So give him um, You can impute their phone number that you can use. And then the username. Username must not start with a number. That, that is the validation I did here on this input field. And then if they click on choose the username, it will tell them if the username is available. I was able to achieve this using Ajax in order to tell them which username is available for them to choose as their username. Then since this username is not available for them to use, they can't continue with their registration. So they have to change the username. So let's call this one user, user Jane. Then immediately tells the user that the username is available, if the username is available. Then on the password, they will see in a, a, a prompt box that tells them that the password must contain at least one number and one uppercase and lowercase letter and at least eight or more characters. This validation, and they will achieve this validation also using Ajax. As you can see, the border, uh, the color at the bottom of the input is an orange red, which tells the user that he hasn't met or passed the validation required on choosing the password. So until the user passes the validation, he seems turns green to tell the user yet yeah, that he has passed all the validation checks for choosing the password. So it immediately takes the user to his dashboard where the user can see a, 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 like a, an overview of the actions he can do. The user can view orders, the user can update their profile, 
the user can post products, user, uh, user can also view the posted product they have on this platform. So let's quickly update the profile because updating your profile also enriches your experience on our platform. So by choosing uploading the profile image, let's choose this image, looks good. Then they can see the details they provided on the registration form. Then they can decide to also fill all these fields too for enriching their experience on the platform. Okay, so now the user can now check out based on what's available on the platform. So let's click on buy now. So the user sees the products that are for sale. Then he sees on maybe looks at this product and the product interests him, clicks on view item, which was the product he chose the first time. He sees who posted the product, the description of the product, the name of the product, and all that. And he clicks to add to cart. Then he clicks on the cart icon icon to proceed with his payment. If everything is good, looks at like everything, and then he sees the breakdown of the order. We charge the delivery fee of 1,000 Naira and we deliver your order within five working days. So, the user types in their, their shipping address for the order. This, this, this breakdown also shows them the payment plus the payment plus the delivery fee of their order. Then they click on confirm payment if it's okay with them. Now this is the payment they want to confirm. Then it instantly takes them to the paystack check uh, checkout. I was able to implement this by consuming the, the paystack API for integrating payments into my application. Then you have me and then click on pay, payment successful. I mean, the payment for the order has been confirmed. This is a, a, a notification feed that his payment has been successful. Then, the user can now view the orders, can now see the status of his order that he has placed. And as you can see, your orders now, ordered by you, the date is there, and the status of the order. As you can see now, it is processing because the, the user who posted the product hasn't yet confirmed the delivery of the product. So let's log in as that user who posted the product. So I'm here in this other browser, logged in as the user who posted that product. So if we click on the, if the user goes to, the, to his dashboard, click on view orders, then goes to placed orders on your product. You will be able to see who, who, uh, who ordered for his product. As you can see, the product name which he, put, uh, which he posted, the drone 234, the shipping address of the order, and it was ordered by Jim, who is the user on this platform. You can also see the date of the order and the status of the order. Maybe if he has delivered the order, you will click on confirm order. Then you see the status delivered. Then the user, if the order has been delivered, automatically the status here will be changed to delivered so as you can see i also give the my a feature on my platform is that as well as buying users can also hire products so let's go to the hire section of the platform as you can see the product here for hiring and it's a drone also with the higher period of three days click on the item you can see we posted the product and this one was posted by the tech stack admin then you can request for hire you get you get a notification that yes your request your request for hire has been placed then it is up to the admin now to decide what to do with the hire order so i'm here on my admin dashboard right now and as you can see this is an overview of what the admin can do on this platform the admin can create a category the admin can view all orders the admin can view all categories, can view all users, view all posted products. Basically, everything that has to do with this platform, the admin can do it. So, based on the higher orders placed on that 
product by the other user. That means you go to I on your product and then he sees a request from Jane. Jane requested to post to hire this product. He can either confirm the order or reject the order. Then if he clicks on confirm order, then you see the breakdown of the order that he has accepted Jane's request to hire this product and the date of the return. There's also a button here which is confirm return which is to, if the product has been truly returned by the user, the admin can confirm the return right here. Then let's go to Jane's dashboard to see the higher order, the status of the higher order. So Jane goes to her higher order and then she sees that a request for hiring has been accepted by the admin and she sees the date she's supposed to return this item. You are expected to return this item on or before this date. Then she, quite all right. Then, if the product has been returned by the user, the admin can here click on this confirm return and the product has been returned by Jane on the date of return, which is today, because we click the confirm return today. Then Jane can go and see that on the admin side, I, I, the item she requested for hire has been returned by her. So, what if Jane wants to post a product also? Jane can also post a product for other users to see. She clicks on post a product. Maybe what she wants to post is, um, let's call it a, a camera. She wants to post a camera. The camera is for, the product type is for sale. She, the registered category of the product you see cameras, the breakdown of all the categories available in which their products can belong in. You can choose camera. The price of the product or which you want to sell the products for. Let's say 20,000. Choose the product image. get a notification that the product has successfully added to the home page. So other users, maybe users like Ola now, can now see the products which have been posted by going to the home page and he will be able to see the products posted by Jane. Use the item posted by Jane. can also see other products that are interesting that interest him for the product. So this is the uh, overview of everything I've done so far on this platform with the technologies that I acquired during this bootcamp. I was able to build this product from scratch using everything I learned in this bootcamp in this platform. The admin can create a category, the admin can view all others. It can view all users, all products posted on this platform. It can also post a product for other users to buy. So click on view all categories. The admin sees all categories that he has added to the platform. Then maybe he can decide to edit any of them. Maybe he doesn't want to call this on laptops and computers. Maybe just computers. Choose the product image edit category and it has been updated that he has changed it. Then the admin can also view he gets the notification that Kaku has deleted. The admin can also view all users. This will be all the breakdown of all the users that have registered with this platform. He can also remove a user. Maybe another user reported the user or any action he, that goes against our policy that user did you can action this button and delete the user from the platform. But we are not going to delete any user yet because nobody has 
it's gone against our policy right now. So the admin can create a category entirely there. So let's call this one. Let's call this one. Headphones. So you get the notification that the category has been added. And if it goes to view existing categories, you'll be able to see that headphones are now a category which users can now use. And on the user side, if they go to the categories now, they can view all products based on the categories. On the categories. So let's view all products based on accessories. They would see all products that has been listed on accessories. Go to laptops and computers. They will be able to see all products based on the category um, computers. They can even search for products on the platform. Maybe they say they are looking for a Galaxy phone and decide on search. It will show them all the results for the Galaxy phone available on the platform.